This is your Almax Exchange technical update for Wednesday, July 26, 2017. Euro dollar. So the euro has finally traded up to test that critical 2015 range high at 117.15, and the market now, considering how extended it is on the daily chart, could be at risk for some form of, at, at a minimum, short term correction. We would need to see a breakdown back below the previous weekly low, which comes in at 114.35, to trigger the onset of a meaningful reversal. And until then, the pressure does remain firmly on the top side but again with daily studies extended and with the market trading up to test that 2015 peak the market could be exposed to some form of a meaningful short-term pullback at a minimum even if the market wants to trade higher over the coming sessions through 117.15 given the extended studies it would suggest that the market will see a very tough will have a very tough time establishing above 117.15 as instead prefer to see that healthy correction before heading higher. We also shouldn't rule out the possibility that, again, this is a range that we've seen since 2015. And so if the market does reverse lower and takes out 114.35, it could set the stage and get a conversation going about a continuation of this range that we've seen going back to 2015, opening the door for potentially deeper setbacks towards the range lows. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to consolidate after another push to a fresh 2017 high the other week above 131. The market seems to be comfortable more consolidating right now instead of continuing to extend its run that we've seen over the past several weeks. Remember the breakout above that critical range high at 127.75 mm -hmm. earlier this year in April suggested that the market had finally put in a longer term base down by that October. October 2016 low at 118.40, opening the door for an eventual move up towards a measured move extension at 135. But again, we're in this consolidation zone here, and so there is risk for setbacks before the market heads higher, though ultimately any setback should ideally now be well supported in the 127s, with only a break back below that low from the 21st of June, which comes in around 125.90, to now compromise this highly constructive outlook for sterling dollar. Dollar yen. So dollar yen continues to be confined to a multi-day range, a multi-week range, with the market well capped on rallies above 114 and adhering to this range that could set the stage for renewed downside pressure towards the 2017 low, just shy of 108. So although we have seen a reversal into Wednesday trade, and although that reversal could open the door for some fresh upside up above 113, the market again continues to be well capped above. Uh, above 114 and so rallies are continue to be expected to be well capped in favor of a continuation of this range it would take a break all the way back above this high here from March 10th of 2017 at 115.50 to suggest that the market is now over ending this period of consolidation in favor of a bullish breakout euro swiss so Euro Swiss continues to extend its run following the impressive break above that psychological barrier at 110 with a clear focus on a retest of a major high going back to that 2016 peak at 112. Setbacks now are expected to be very well supported with only a break at a minimum back below 109.80 to take the immediate pressure off the top side. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has shown signs of a potential longer term base following this recent breakout in the previous week to fresh 2017 highs beyond what had been a very well defined range top in the 78 area. This does expose a move towards the next key resistance point at, by, by that May 2015 high at 81.63. But as we've been saying in recent updates, the daily charts are a little bit extended. This is a weekly chart, and the daily charts are extended, suggesting that we could first see, soon see a uh, corrective pullback before the market considers trading higher. A break back below the previous weekly low, which now comes in around 77.87, would take the immediate pressure off the top side and open the door for that minor correction at a minimum. 
dollar cad so dollar cad continues to extend its decline of 2017 lows with the market trading back down towards that 2016 base at 2461 the market is however highly overextended on the daily chart which does warn of some form of a meaningful corrective reversal over the coming sessions but ultimately we'd need to see a break back above 127 to really take the pressure off the downside and get the market thinking about pushing back to the top side. Kiwi dollar. So the New Zealand dollar has recently traded up to a fresh 2017 high, well above 74, as high as about 74.60 thus far. However, the run that we've seen since 2017 low back in May has been quite impressive, leaving the market a little bit extended here and at risk for rolling over for some form of a corrective decline. Throw in the fact that the market has also been well capped on a longer term basis up towards the 75 handle and that risk is building for some form of a meaningful correction to the downside. SPX 500. The S&P 500 has finally traded up to a measured move extension at 2480. That was an extension following a consolidation earlier this year between 2400 and 2320. And so now that that objective has been reached and with daily studies quite extended, there is risk building here for the onset of some form of a correction. The market, however, has been very well supported on dips within this intense uptrend over the past several years. And so ultimately, it would take a breakdown below 2400 to suggest that the market is finally looking to put in some form of a meaningful top. On a very short term basis, we'd need to see a daily close back below 2465 to suggest that the market is looking to at least roll over for a short term correction. Until then, there is risk that this run continues and we get an overshoot beyond 2480 up towards 2500. Gold. So gold has seen a little bit of a pullback over the past couple of sessions, and we could still see those setbacks extend some more. But overall, this is a market that has shown that it has been very well supported on dips towards 1200. And so this latest round of setbacks should once again be very well supported in favor of a higher low somewhere well ahead of 1200 and continuation of gains back up towards the 2017 peak at 1296, which guards against the 2000. 2016 peak further up at 1375 only back below 1200 would compromise the constructive outlook for gold